COVID-19 vaccines are becoming more widely available, but some folks say they won't get the shot when their turn comes. In today's Hill Watch, Local 5's Connie Fellman helps to clear up some myths surrounding the COVID-19 vaccines. You may already have gotten your flu shot this year, but will you also get your COVID-19 shot? With multiple companies now providing vaccines, here are some things you should know before you make that decision. At least one in three Americans say they will not get a COVID vaccine if and when it becomes available. I don't think vaccines are necessar necessary for the flu. Absolutely, I would be first in line for it. Maybe it may change your DNA. It's hard to tell what information is real and what's not. One myth floating around is a vaccine will make you test positive. A COVID-19 vaccine will not make you test positive for a current COVID infection on a viral test. However, you could test positive on some antibody tests if you develop an immune response. Myth number two, I don't need a vaccine if I've already had the virus. If you've already been sick, you can still benefit from a vaccine. This protects you both from getting sick again or becoming a carrier. And the last myth, herd immunity or the idea of letting the virus infect as many people as it can until it runs out of people to infect is better than vaccination. An institute at the University of Washington says for herd immunity to be effective, at least 13 million people will have to die globally of COVID-19 in 1 million in the U.S. That's important that people still be mindful of getting their vaccines. Even as vaccines start rolling out, for now, the best protection is still being a good citizen, wearing your mask, socially distancing yourself if you're feeling sick or just avoiding large crowds, frequent hand washing, all those things will continue to be important. One of the most common myths is vaccines give you the virus. While vaccines do protect you, they do not infect you. The CDC says vaccines typically contain only a single protein of an inactivated or dead virus. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Feldman, Local 5 News. All right, thanks, Connie.